Welcome into the casual gaming conversation. I'm Connor. That's Nick. This is your weekly gaming podcast from Co-op 64. As you can see from the board behind us, we are doing the best game hero bracket. Best video game hero bracket. Connor, I need a hero. Okay, that was it. That's all I got. I, here until the I'm, end I'm of gonna the tell night. this out there. And there's a round in the music league coming up in two weeks that is like, what's your last stand song? I will n- never refresh a page fast enough because I was legitimately like, if I don't get that song, I'm going to be Nick, You st- just put that so out sad. in the ether, though. I know. Now everybody's going to be gunning I, for I, it. I know. But and here's the thing, though. If I don't get it, there's it, that that's will be submitted by someone. And it most will likely win. me. And it should win. Yeah. And, and if somebody does get it beforehand, I will give it five votes because it, it deserves five votes. <laughs> I Need a Hero is the greatest last stand song in any it's piece good, of media it's good ever. Stuff. And I won't back, back. Down, that, but you gotta do the, you from, gotta use the backyard again. But no, oh, no. Bar, barnyard, <laughs> backyard again. It's, it's a little off. There. Yes, it's the barnyard. Uh, uh, all right, we're gonna get uh, into this, uh, but you can expect the draft and the hot take after uh, this bracket because we are recording this live on Twitch. If you want to be a part of these streams and stay up to date on the happenings, you gotta join the Discord. That's where we make the announcements for when we're doing these and how we get people involved. So if you want to be a part of that. Go join the Discord. It's a lot of fun over there. A lot of benefits to being in the Discord. Early voting for uh, the fan voted list. You get to decide between three options what we're going to be voting on. Fast money. Speaking of describe plots. Yeah, fast money. It, it got all together yesterday. Connor was like, oh, how are you going to like divide things? It took me like 15 minutes that's to get everything the, that's together. That's not the conversation. All right. Oh. Yeah, I dialed it in. I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys that wrote in. We had 170 write-ins for Fast Money. Uh I gave you questions that are like gettable compared mm. to what you give me, which is like They're you don't get very gettable. Connor, you gave me the last fast money. If I didn't get the number one answer on two of them, I, I lost no matter what. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I, you know, you can't win them all, especially when you're me. It's a, you lose a lot. Okay. Let's just get right into this. You want to you wanna go? Uh, you got anything else to say? Uh, oh, how are you doing? Uh, you know, it's 8 a.m. Yeah. And uh, I slept all right. I have a little bit of an ear issue going on right now. Ooh. My left ear might I might have a ear infection. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't feel good, though. So if you see me fiddling with my ear, that's that's what's going on. Uh, so, yeah. I, I just want to also shout out JPUG in the chat. We will be shouting out people in the chat throughout this podcast. If you say something funny or uh, obviously you guys will be helping vote when Connor and I, I disagree. I'm 30 and I exclusively think of Barnyard when I hear that song. Same. That same. Yeah. Like, like it's the only I'm 27. Thing. So oh. that, yeah, it's just yeah. It's a, it's a, that generation. I mean, <laughs> I still think of it, too. And I'm I think yeah. I'm like a lot younger than y'all. Oh, Can not a lot. The table back a little bit. Does that work? This I don't know. Okay. The wall. It's it's just jiggling a little bit. All right, let's let's get up there and let's get into it. Oh my gosh. Are we in this? Are we gonna be in the shot? Is the question. We're, we might need to tilt it up a little uh, bit. It's fine. This is fine. You, you don't want to tilt these towers? No, no, we're good. This is about where it is usually. Here's the thing, though, Connor. You're I'm a little bit taller than you. Look at that. I gotta get. You're really, fine. You're I gotta fine. get really far back there. All righty. You want to get through this? Want to get into this? Sure, do you want to read the names? Well, yeah, or you let's, just wanna... let's read the names. So, in the east, we have Geralt. Is it Geralt? Geralt? Geralt. Nick says Geralt, and that's definitely wrong. Guys, I... I say Geralt. It's Geralt. Gerald. No, it's not. It's Jerry. Geralt versus Cassandra, Jin, Cal, Kestis, Mario, Senua, Sora, Raiden, uh, Nathan Drake... Or Drake the Rapper, <laughs> uh, Duke Nukem, Shepard, Sam Porter Bridges, Snake, Pikachu, Joker, Isaac, Isaac Clark, Clark, yeah, and Joker from uh, Persona Five, Leon, Bigby uh, from uh, Wolf Among Us, Link, Peter Parker, Sly, Vivi, Kratos, Garrus, Ratchet, Dante, Kirby, Nico, Cloud, Price, Ellie, and Doom Guy. Over on the west west side of the bracket. Even though it's oh that that's the west side of the bracket because the anyways oh uh, we have the the best round one the two most similar characters on the bracket uh Clive Parappa the rapper uh Clem from The Walking Dead Marcus Phoenix Arthur Morgan Tony Hawk Bayonetta Spyro Ezio La- Lara 
Laura. Laura. I'm just, it's a joke at this point because you make fun of me for saying Laura because it's yeah. Laura in my heart. Um, Chai from Hi-Fi Rush, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Jack, Booker DeWitt, Sonic, Minecraft Steve, Mega Man, Sackboy, Aloy, Fox, Samus, Astro, Lee from The Walking Dead, Gordon Freeman, Master Chief, Simon Belmont, Joel Miller, Max Caulfield, Alan Wake, Tubi, Cole McGrath, and uh, BJ Blazkowicz. Right on. Fuck yeah, dude. What a list. You a little bit of a booger going on in that. Uh, in that, in that should I, I'll, I'll go and, I'll, uh, go and uh, blow my nose real quick, but I'll let you get to the first round. All right. Yeah, because this is easy. Girl versus Cassandra. Wait, it's actually not easy. I actually think Girl is kind of lame from my limited experience playing this. Aerith would have been good on there. We didn't want too much Final Fantasy is the issue. Cole McGrath, haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> Sanic. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, all right, what are we thinking for round one? Cassandra versus Geralt. I think Cassandra's awesome. One of the greatest Assassin's Creed main characters of all time. But I also think Geralt is like classic. He's like legendary at this point. What are we thinking? We got to go with The Witcher. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Witcher. The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 in my opinion, you. you you take the guy with three games in this situation. Jin Sakai versus Cal Kestis. Hell of a round one matchup. Yeah, that's a really good matchup, honestly. Um, where do you lean as, as I mean, <sighs> as someone that's maybe potentially playing Ghost of Tsushima right now. It's Jin. It's, I can, it's Jin. I, I would also Cal's attest great. That I really do like Cal. I, I think Cal is sort of hosed in this matchup. Yeah. Because, like, this is a really, really good matchup. But, yeah, give me, give me Jin in round one. Mario versus Senua. This sucks. It's Mario. It's not even if close. If this was protagonist and not hero, I would go with Senua. No. Because Mario's not... I don't give a fuck about Mario I as still a protagonist. Don't, I don't like Senua. I think Senua's performance is She's like all She's interesting, I guess, but I don't all -time like her. You know I think I mean? those two games are all-time performances from uh, that actress. But because it's heroes, yeah. it's Mario. Yeah, it's Mario. I mean, we we won't debate it. But uh, like, also, I think Senua getting hosed a little bit because like we have people on this bracket that I'm like, come on. Sora versus Raiden. Raiden. <laughs> this is uh, I, I'm okay with going Sora. Yeah, it's Sora. but but like, you can throw it on there. Raiden's story in. Metal Gear Solid 2. And he's an uphill battle because you you expect to play a snake. Yeah. And then now you're playing his ride and you're like, I don't know. I don't know. He's not as good. He's not a good snake. <laughs> he's not. But, but like, he's, he's still interesting. Super interesting. And uh, his relationship with Rose is like phenomenal. It's really fucking yeah. amazing. Um, so are we going off who's better or more popular? It's, it's just the best. It's just who's the it's, best. It's based off of our opinion. Yep. 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 And we are God, as we like to say when we're doing these, where we get to decide <laughs> unless we disagree, then we go to you guys. Uh, Drake versus Duke Nukem. Nathan, Nathan Drake. Drake. We knew this first round would probably fly by for most of these bad boys. Shepard versus Sam Porter Bridges. I I really love Sam. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, Commander Shepard. I love Sam Por Porter Bridges, but... Connor, uh, he's, he's, versus... trading, he's trading the rope for the stick, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Snake versus Pikachu. What a... It's Snake. It's Snake. But Jesus Christ, yeah. Pikachu getting hosed. If it was Pikachu versus Shepard, I think I'd argue. Yeah. I think I would legitimately get after it. Joker versus Isaac Clark. This is a really interesting debate. <laughs> if it was anybody else from Persona 5, it would be more interesting. The main character, he doesn't... Yeah, he's not, he's not like, like super a, interesting. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a character. He's a vessel for you to yeah, play yeah, with. Yeah, right. Um, so, Isaac Clark, I think, is very interesting. I, I yeah, like his I like, story. Isaac's yeah, awesome. I, I think it's Isaac. He's just a lowly engineer that ends up in a fucked up situation. Yeah. Right? Leon versus Big B from The Wolf. The Wolf Among Us. The Big Bad Wolf. It's Leon Kennedy. It's the it's, ultimate badass. It's, it's Big B. No. <laughs> it's not even. It's, frankly, it's not no, even. It's the, it, frankly, it, Connor, it's not Connor, even no. close. <laughs> Connor, oh, put it to a poll. I want to be frank with you. It's. Not even close. Connor, as someone that has <laughs> not played lose the Wolf this, Among but Us, like, dude, Leon is. I like Leon quite a bit. He's the ultimate badass, Connor. Nick, but he, he's 
he's so brooding and so one note. Connor, there is six more Big characters, D, and there's Big not D one has, more character that's more badass than Leon. I don't care about him being badass. Big D is interesting and actually has like an arc and is cool and like it, it, the story revolves around him rather than Leon just like kind of like. <laughs> he's being you know thrusted I mean? within the story of Raccoon City Police Department. Yeah, Come okay, on, he's dude. better in, in Resident Evil Two, yeah. but. Resident Evil 4, which is you, one of my favorite games of all time. You got to give him, though, both games. You got to give both games. I know, but it's still, but it's not about Leon. I like the game around Leon. Leon has nothing to do I with love my Leon. I love Leon. Big B is, Leon's a better Big character B than Mario. Is the game for Wolf Among Us. It's named after him. It's so Leon. good. Yeah, I'm going to lose this 100%, but I'm, I'm glad that I'm going to bat for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those situations. All right. Do you want to tap that to actually? We'll, no, we'll see. We'll see in seconds. just a moment. Uh, his arc from rookie to absolute badass is so good. I completely agree. Like that, he's the ultimate badass, and he becomes the ultimate badass. He starts out as a scared little lad. Yeah, a rookie. Yeah, Leon with eighty-eight percent of the, of the vote. vote. Jesus Christ! Hell yeah! By the way, Chad, we because it's a, a morning podcast, real real early. We have no one really from the West Coast joining. And, and such. Uh, your votes matter. Yeah. <laughs> Get them in. Get your votes in. Um, We got a banger. A banger. Link versus Peter Parker. From the Spider-Man. The, from the Marvel Spider-Man series. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, not, we're not taking PS2 Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into account here. It's still Link. If it was protagonist, it would be Peter Parker. No, it wouldn't. But because no, it's hero. No, it would not. It's Link. Nick. <laughs> Well, Link's a fucking wet blanket of a protagonist. No, I don't, he's I, not. Oh, he's dude. great. I mean, like, even though he doesn't speak, he's like emotive and has like a ton of character and like he's legendary. I know he's a good hero. He's, he's a great hero. Legendary. I don't like to play. I, I don't. It's I'd like, rather play as Peter Parker, who has like emotion and drive. But I'll because it's hero. I, I'll side with Link. And Link's gonna beat Leon too. Uh, that's gonna go to a poll. <laughs> There's no way Leon is better than he's Link. He's a better hero. <laughs> oh my god. He's a god. better hero. No, he's not. This guy's going against like massive, like world ending shit or whatever. Leon is, is going against world ending shit. No, it's not the same. He's the hero it's within the world the ending shit. We'll get it's there. Not we'll the get same. there later. We'll get there later. Sly Cooper versus Vivi. Vivi. It's Vivi. <laughs> yeah, Vivi is one of the greatest heroes of all time. Kratos versus Garrus. <laughs> it's Garrus. It's Kratos by a landslide. <laughs> it's Garrus. Kratos sucks butts in all of the original God of War games. He's just ah! the entire time just freaking out and just angry. And like that's his only emotion, which is the point of that character. But like then in God of War 2018 and Ragnarok, he definitely gets depth. But Garrus throughout all the Mass Effect games is the fan favorite. He's the best character in the series. We're talking about heroes, though, Connor. Yeah. And, and Kratos. So can we get this one two poll? You want to go two poll? Yeah. Can we get a two poll? Uh, for heroes, I'm not even considering God of War, uh, the early God of Wars, because in those games, he's not really a hero. So I'm considering hero version of Kratos. Nick, I, and I, hero I, understand, version of Kratos I understand you're getting really better. hung up on this. I just am going which one's the better character, personally. Oh, yeah. And Kratos is the better character. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Garrus oh, is, uh, like... The best character in Mass Effect. He is Mass Effect. Yeah, and Kratos is the best people. character in God of War. And if he's the best character, it's like, jeez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. That's tough. Uh, people people get excited for our boy Garrus. Garrus for the win, says Tupan. Oh, we're going back and forth. Oh, I'm going to lose this. <laughs> <laughs> Nine to five for Kratos. Come on, people. All right. I'm going to write Kratos. <laughs> He is more than just an angry guy, Connor. I know that now. Exactly. But he was in the first few games. No, I'm saying the first. He, but my boy Gooperman's out here saying you're doing him a disservice in the OGs. I disagree. All right. Uh, Ratchet versus Dante. <sighs> it's Ratchet. It's Ratchet. I but like Dante. Uh, yeah. but, and also, I don't have a ton of experience with Dante, but I really do love Ratchet. I love Ratchet more than a lot of characters. Yeah. Nobody looking at my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Me twerking. Why did I look? Kirby right. versus Nico. Oh, oh uh, you you can just take it's, it's, it's Nico. Nico. Yeah, uh, I'm fine with that. 
I mean, Kirby doesn't really have a character. Yeah. I Cloud agree. versus Captain Price. I have a question for you. Do we audible Omaha this shit and throw Aerith on there over Cloud? No. Because Aerith is a better video game hero than Cloud. Yeah, but we have Cloud on there. Oh, that's going, what I'm saying. That's what no, we, no can we, we can't. It's on the board. All right, then. The board I, is the board is forever. Cloud is a better hero than Captain Price. No, he's not. Yeah, he Nick. Cloud sucks. Cloud is not. He's like suck. the worst Final Fantasy protagonist. Cloud is not suck. He is. He, I think he's a better protagonist than the protagonist from Nine. Anyways, no, Zidane is way Zidane better, is than not better than Cloud. Zidane's like an actual hero. If we're going off yeah, of that, and, Cloud, and Cloud, Cloud is, is a liability. To Cloud the team. is a messed up man. He's got death. Can, can we get this in the chat, please? Cloud versus Captain Price. Oh my God! What well, this is why I love these podcasts yeah. because you get to take two guys that would never go face to face, and uh, they Price get to go would after. kill Cloud. No. Yes, he would. He's like it's like the Batman with prep time versus anybody. That's Price. Captain Price, Price with, prep with prep time versus time? Cloud. I'm fine with He's that. He's smoking him. Uh, pull is up, everyone. Um, I'm just a teenage dirt dirtbag, baby. baby. How do we get on that? Uh, I'm just thinking about Cloud being a teenage dirtbag. Guys, this is the first piece of content we're shooting today. Then we shoot literally thirty fucking TikToks after this with Shane and Brayden. Uh, coming in, and then we have another, another podcast, podcast right after that. <laughs> so, by the way, I'm going to say this now because this is going up Monday. We don't know what Extra Life was, like, support-wise, but I want to say thank you so much for your support on Extra Life. Yeah. It really means the world. Uh, yeah, by the time you're seeing yeah. this, Extra Life has already ended. So, thank but you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's not who would win in a fight. It's just the better hero. Yep, 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 yep. That would be a fun bracket to do one day. That would Strongest be Strongest yeah. video game character. Strongest, oh. yeah, that would be good. It, it's Kirby. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Like, I think canonically. <gasps> Let's go, Cloud, with the dub. Barely. Bang. I mean, they're going to lose the next round, but give Ellie it to my boy. versus Doom Guy. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie Williams, for sure. I mean, I like I like Doom Guy, and if we're doing be- who would win in a fight, Doom Guy would murder just about everybody on here <laughs> do guy versus kirby in the finale yeah. of uh that that bracket would go hard anyways on the east side of the bracket that is the west side connor never east oh shit east. i guess you're right but yeah. if you're looking this way like- <laughs> yes if you do flip your body <laughs> and look the other way you nailed it you got me uh all right it's clyde versus brad the rapper Rap of the Rapper. Are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> Clive Rossfield is the best Final Fantasy protagonist of all time. Uh, Clem versus Marcus Phoenix. Clem. Not even close. I, I'm Nick, not, we're no, not, no, 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 not no, no, fucking no. doing Connor, this. Not Marcus gonna play Phoenix two sucks. Not going to put two pull. I think you're downplaying how much of a hero he is when you're playing those games and how much fun you have. I will go Clem. Clem. I will go Clem. Come on. But that's mainly because of your love. Of, Clem versus of Clem. Clive is a conversation, too. We'll get that in the next round. Arthur versus Tony Hawk, Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan. Not it sucks. Not Tony Hawk Hawk's drew a tough bit. <laughs> Ar- uh, Tony Hawk's the better. By the way, uh, we randomized this. Clem. Nick, Nick just read them off, and I just went bing, bong, boom, bing, bing, bong, boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just went like all over the place with it. No, no uh, format. Bayonetta versus Spyro. Bayonetta. Yeah, Spyro doesn't have enough personality. Queen. Also, she's uh, got um, heels oh, that could okay. step on. Her. I thought you were gonna say something else, but. Uh, no, anyways, I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> don't even don't acknowledge, don't acknowledge. <laughs> Ezio versus Lara, Lara, Lara. Yeah, and oh, I shout out Ezio, good character. Cassandra, Cassandra's better. Yeah, I think so. Like too. Than, than Ezio, like not even close. Chai versus Crash. Chai, Chai <laughs> is a better character <laughs> and a better hero. <laughs> Dude, Chai I, is so. I can't make lovable. the crash noise, but you know what I'm talking about. Try over crash, everyone. My you, phone we, is we, popping off. Is it? I assume the boys landing yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. I'm gonna tell them to not come in. Keep, keep it. Going. Yep. Uh, we got Jack from Jack and Dexter versus Booker Dewitt. It's Booker. Booker. Yeah. Booker is a better video game hero. Way more interesting character. Um, Sonic versus Minecraft Steve. Oh my God, chat. Oh my God, chat. Sonic versus Minecraft Steve. This is the only matchup for Sonic wins. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I kind of agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sonic. Uh, Mega Man versus Sackboy. This is a tough one for me. It's Mega Man. I'm sorry. It is. Here's the thing, Connor. If if we were going for them 
a completely objective standpoint. Subjective, you mean? No, I'm oh, saying objective. objective okay. Yeah. It's, it's Mega Man, the amount of games, the icon status. Even then, man. But we're God. So I'm going to put this one to a poll. It's Mega Man, Sackboy guys. versus Mega Man. Get it in a poll. Guys, please don't let me down. You guys have let me down so much today. It's Mega Man. Let's Sackboy! Be, be real. I know Sackboy's great. Sackboy's a lot of fun. I like. I love Little Big Planet, but Mega Man is classic, guys. It is Mega classic. Man and Mega Man X, dude. Like, come on. Sackboy could probably be Mega Man. That's true. You can wear an outfit. Guys, I'm going to lose based off of this. This is not good. Ooh, water on my brow. Let Guys, Connor Mega Man down. would smoke sack boy. Let Connor down. All right. It's, uh, uh, if we get to 12 votes on it, I'll, I'll end it there. 71% I, I Mega need Man people to switch their votes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Mega Man's got it. I'm going to give it to it. Oh. I, I think I played for Sackboy. He was always Nathan Drake for me. Aloy versus Star Fox himself. Aloy. It's Aloy. Uh, okay. But Star I, Fox doesn't really have like a lot of personality. I mean, he he has some personality. But he's but so cool, Connor. Aloy is cool. Best well. video, we need Aloy to do, is the only Connor, redeeming factor. We need to do coolest video game characters also eventually. Because yeah. that's the bracket I want to be a part of. All right. <laughs> uh, Samus versus Astrobot. Sam Astro Nick it's Astro Nick it is Astro you're gonna get destroyed D in in the poll we'll put it to a poll but it's not even gonna be close. No, right. I'm it's gonna not do even Samus. Be I'm close. Do Samus. oh you, you got me Samus yeah, you're out of your mind if you think Astro bot I'm gonna leave this Samus. one completely to you Lee, Lee Gordon versus Gordon Freeman. Freeman Lee not even close yeah Gordon Freeman silent pro tag he's interesting I guess but it's Lee Everett. Lee Everett. Uh, shout out to Tripachi, who just says meow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's in reference to, but uh, maybe they just don't want me to get a cat. Which... Master Chief versus Simon Belmont. The Chief. Chief. Yeah. But Simon getting a tough draw, yeah. I, I feel, in that situation. If it was Alucard, maybe. The MC himself. Uh, Joel <laughs> versus Max Caulfield. <laughs> what? He's uh he gets his own universe. It's the Master Chief universe, everyone. The MCU. <laughs> MCU. Um Joel versus Max Caulfield. Joel. Connor's favorite character. Are you sure? Max Caulfield you, is the You're sure worst. you don't want to go with Max Caulfield from She's Life is the Strange. worst, dude. Every character in, in Life is Strange is inside. Alan inside Wake versus Tubi. <laughs> Alan Wake. It's close though. I have someone that has not played as 2B. I've I mean, played a little bit of uh, of Nier, Nier and, yeah. and she's she's interesting. But um, once it's again, out. I'm gonna leave this last one to you, D mainly because Cole versus BJ Blast yeah, is it's tough. Wolf. It's like actually a tough yeah. matchup, but it's it's Cole. You're going Cole Stone. over BJ. Yeah, yeah. But, but, I think a lot of people would disagree with you, but like I said, I'm I don't agree. It. I mean, like, well, okay. I think a lot of people didn't play Infamous, and a lot of people have played Wolfenstein. Cole's gonna take What's it. What's bigger, Infamous or Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein, I think. Yeah. Think so. yeah. All right. And Wolfenstein is more relevant today than Infamous. It's been a long time since we've got an Infamous game. All right. Now that we're getting into the, the meat and potatoes of this bad boy. <laughs> to be uh, heard on first level, I, I felt that, like, that we were going to hurt some feelings with that one. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to... I was thinking the same thing. Cheers, a little coffee break. Good morning, mm. buddy. Thank you all for being here mm. for this wonderful night, mm -hmm. as uh, the great Tyler Hyde said for Live at Bush Hall. All right. All right, Geralt versus Jin. Jin. Yeah, Jin's a guy. For sure. That's going to piss a lot of people off. But Yep. We just move along because we got to do. Why is it coming out like that? I don't know. You want, give, it a, give it a little a little whip. There you go. Okay. If you need to, we can just share the marker. Yeah. Mario versus Sonic. Sora At the Olympic versus Sora. Oh, oh, it's Sora. <laughs> uh, I got too excited about the Olympic <laughs> Games. Okay. Uh, Mario versus Sora. It's Sora to it's me. It's Sora. Sora has more of a character. Yeah, and know. he's a better hero. It, well, heroes, it's interesting. He's a much better character, though. And originally, this tie, what title was... Did you was, see him fight a thousand Heartless last night? It was night? so cool. Uh, Connor, oh, my Connor God! And I, Connor and I left stream last night, and we're, like, setting up for today. 
And I, I told him, like, immediately, I was like, this was by far the most fun I've had on a Kingdom Hearts 2 stream. And this might be the most fun I've had on stream this year. Oh, it's like, so good. It, it, the, going and just having cool character moments, like, uh, there's nothing better to me than a team up story. I love Fast and Furious 5. I love any chance you get a good cast together and then just let them do their thing. I'm all about that. <laughs> and we have, last night, it's just moment after fucking moment of great characters. Donald getting bonked to the head and then, Maybe like... Goofy. Yes, sorry. Goofy game bonked to the head, and then Donald being like, "We're gonna fuck him up." And, and, that and shit. then Mickey being like, "They'll pay." And throws yeah. off the jacket, yeah. or whatever. Like goes after him, dude. And then you have Leon and uh, Cloud, and Cloud back to back. Oh. I you already know Namor was sitting in the writers' room, being like, "I'm fucking cooking, <laughs> dog, dude. Let's fucking go." And, and he literally, <laughs> I, I that's a scene that I will watch again this weekend at some point. Like it, it's so fucking good. Yeah. All right. Uh, Nate Drake versus Commander Shepard. Drake. Shepard, come Drake. on. Commander Shepard, get it. Get it to heroes, a if I think of video game heroes, I he think... He saved the entire universe. Nathan Drake <laughs> did a bunch of cool shit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's a better protagonist. Not even close. Nathan Drake, let's get the poll going. No. Get the poll the going. The Reaper threat, and Shepard looked him dead in the eye and said, I'm, I'm not letting Connor, you take have you heard this. of Lazarvich? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of him? What's the guy from Thor? Uh, uh, Raph. Raph, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rafe? Rafe, yeah. Yeah. The guy who looks like Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah. Yeah. Nadine? Nadine's a great villain. She's fine. I, I, I like her so much in Lost Legacy. It's it's great. I, it's, I love Antari, but it's Shepard. Tupan, it's okay. You don't need to be oh here for God, this Oh, my God, it's vote. close, guys. Get your votes I do. Th I did think that this one was going to be very close. Yeah. I'm upset about this, honestly. Oh my it's goodness. It's very close. Come on, Shepard, guys. Guys, Shepard beat the Reapers, saved the universe. Nathan, Nathan Drake, Drake swung is from such a, a hero. Rope. He just, He's he, such a good hero. Na, 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 na. He's literally the, just Indiana Jones. No, you are. <laughs> okay, then your guy is Luke Skywalker. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no. I mean, we're, we're, we're just talking about genres now. I don't know. We can't have It's getting further and further apart. <laughs> uh, give it to Drake. Yeah. Let's go. I feel like we've had Drake versus Snake in too many fucking things. I feel like it's come up in Drake versus Snake. He's yeah. been bars. It's it's yeah. Snake. By the way, we're doing Snake slash Big Boss because they're like the same person. Leon versus Link. It is Link Put by it to the a pole. quarter mile. It's not even Connor, close. The ultimate Leon badass. shouldn't have even beaten Bigby. Nick, I don't care that he's a badass. That's I not do. Like, that's not like this amazing quality that I, like, I'm looking a good, for in a, so in a let, look, character. Let, okay, let me break this down, though. I want to take a step back. For me, Leon is more than just the ultimate badass. I like saying that. It's one of the quotes Nick, of this channel. As Ali let, says, no, he's literally the hero of time, Nick. Can I, can I explain my uh, case, please? Uh, let's hear it, Nick. I'm Leon sure it's legitimately it. saved the world. You're talking about Shepard. Like he, did, like, he saved the world. He stopped the Reaper threat and everything. Leon is helping save the world by contain Raccoon City and make the virus not go fucking everywhere. Well, it did go any, everywhere anyways. I know, but he's trying his best. He's a great <laughs> hero, Connor. And he's a great character in Resident Evil 2. Actually, and then Resident actually, Evil 4 is amazing. Shepard actually completed the mission. Can we Link roundhouse kick a granny, though? The answer is no. <laughs> he can't. That's a good point. I'm getting smoked. <laughs> yeah. All right, Link moves on. We had Let's fun go. here. My badass. It's done. I'm just excited to talk about Clyde Rossfield, dude. <laughs> VV versus Kratos. <laughs> it's VV. It's Kratos. Okay, we what? can we can we can move Kratos. Okay, I'm not thank gonna, you. I'm it's not, not gonna, worth the pull. I'm not gonna win that. <laughs> yeah, and you're not. It's Kratos versus Link. It's gonna be an interesting one. It's Link. I feel like I'm gonna lose every Link poll. Ratchet versus Nico Bellic. I someone that's not played GTA 4. It's, it's Nico it, Bellic. It, it, yeah, like, Nico Bellic's uh, way more interesting than Ratchet. I know he's way, way more interesting, more but I love playing as Ratchet. And I, like, it, we're talking he, about like seven games. Yeah, There's so much you, fun to like play as Ratchet as a Ratchet, hero. Yeah. Like, I don't know if how like we're just gonna describe how excited I am for when Insomniac makes another Ratchet game because it's just so good. Cloud versus Ellie. Ellie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, by thank, country thank mile. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue that. Ellie and Joel for me are. Are going to be tough to to knock off. Uh, Clive versus Clem. Clive, it is Clive. Yeah, I yeah, even knew it. Yeah. And then Arthur. Arthur versus Bayonetta. Arthur. Arthur. I have a play in Arthur. Put the money in the bag. 
That's a uh, weird M used. Yeah, I, it was like uh, a B. Well, I was trying to, you know, like yeah, I was Arthur getting... Borgen. <laughs> 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 Laura versus Ty. It's Ty. <laughs> it's Laura. Ty's a better hero. Laura, put it to the chat. Ty from High Five Rush is a better hero. Listen to me. Has anybody, has Laura ever beaten robots to fucking the Black the Keys? Foreman is making a great point. It's a hero bracket. Ellie and Joel are terrible people. That I, I do. I do agree. A lot of characters are on here. Wait, Arthur Morgan is a terrible let person me break for this a lot of that game. Let, I know, but let's break it down. This this whole bracket got decided to be a hero bracket and not protagonist bracket just because we wanted VB and Garrus on there. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That is the whole reason. We were choosing the better character. Not, uh, that, that falls under the, the good guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. That, 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 I think Joel's the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Joel and Ellie are bad people. Nick, the bias with Hi-Fi Rush. So How is it biased? Yeah. Uh, bi- bias with, these are just my thoughts. I think that something is better. That's what we're discussing right now. It's biased. It's not like I have bias towards... Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> it's not even close, dude. I mean, Ty's Rush. interesting. Play, cool. play Hi-Fi Rush. He's, he's such a... There is, Laura doesn't have the heart that Ty does. It, it, it yes, is, she does. It is way, it, Ty has the most pure heart out of anyone on this list, except for maybe BB. Or Sonic. Booker or Sonic? Sonic. Booker. Booker's a better hero. Better S- character. Sonic is iconic. That's it. And that's it. Has so many more games. Cool. That, th- th- but those games aren't Put all good. Put it to a bowl. You're going to lose. You do you know you're going to lose. Jesus fucking Christ. Don't let Sonic as a hero. What has Sonic done? Uh, actually, Sonic <laughs> does have a game. Sonic versus Laura, and then Sonic's going to win that. <laughs> Sonic's going to be in our lead eight. Don't let that happen, Chad. Don't let that happen. Uh, meow. <laughs> Gosh. I did not get to sneak that vote in. Can we uh, get a vote up, please? Goop. Also, what's up, Alec? Good morning. He saved the world. <laughs> meow. Do we have it? Uh, Sorry. It is Sonic versus Booker DeWitt. I mean, you're going to lose this. Do you want to just move Sonic on? I want the poll, but we can move on to the next one in the yeah. meantime. Mega Man versus Aloy. Mega Man. Mega Man. I'm, I'm fine yeah. with that. Samus versus Lee Everett. Samus. It, honestly, it's mainly because of the amount of games. That's that. It, Lee's such a fucking good character, but he only has eight hours on screen. And I also think that... He's, he's you a, wanted to do Astrobot over Samus, Nick, five seconds ago. You know, sometimes you say something and then your brain clicks and you're like, you fucked up by saying that. Yeah. I mean, if we can, for once in our life, make good decisions like putting Booker over Sonic, I would think about getting a cat. But <laughs> we're out here with Sonic having 82% of the fucking poll. All right. Move Sonic oh, on. my God. 83% of the poll. I think I think Lee should go on, honestly. He's the better character. Samus is, is a silent protag. Yeah, but you feel badass as Samus. You do. You do. But Lee's just Connor, you're you're forgetting the Fine. most core Samus, Samus. aspect to my vote. The badass factor. Yeah. All right. That's all that matters to Nick. All right. We got uh <laughs> Holy Ma- shit. Master Chief Universe versus uh Joel. You wanna do this? You know you know the answer. It's not even close, in my opinion. It's Chief. It's Chief. Yeah. yeah. Fuck Joel. I love Joel, but, like, fuck him also. Makes horrible decisions. Deserves everything. Nope, that's wrong. It that comes to him. Ah. I had it right the first time. Alan Wake versus Cole McGrath. It's Cole. It's Cole. Yeah. He's a better hero, if we're going to go off of that. Yeah, and Alan Wake 2 is it, such a non-factor in the second game. Yeah, he's he's in his own interesting, story. but he is like just kind of like there. Dude, you know he's I, mean? I I don't I would not say he's just there. Okay. All right. Uh now we're we're moving on. <laughs> JPUG. The... Cats are a menace. I can't find my mouse and keyboard dongle for work, and I know she <laughs> did it. That's really funny. We're moving on to the Sweet 16, baby. Sweet 16. Jin Sakai versus Sora. It's Sora. It's Sora. Sora. Not even close, in my opinion. Sora as a hero is pretty he's, fucking he unbeatable. He's light, Nick. He's pureness. Like he's he's happiness. He's he's magic. Like he's he's uh, it, my entire thought. I I loved Sora for a very long time mm-hmm. growing up. 
watching you play these games, hearing about these games for so long. Playing last night legitimately changed almost... I, I went from saying this game is like an 8.5 to being like, this might be the best game ever. Like, yeah. it is so fucking dope. Drake versus Solid Snake. I'm going with Snake. Snake! Yeah, yep. Me too. That's going to be a fun conversation. The Elite Eight. Uh, and Link. J- sorry, NJC says, Sword's Death the most pure in the bracket. There's only one character more pure. Chai. <laughs> Nick, it is. No, it's not. Chai has one game under his belt. You have example after example after example of Sora being just the most pure, wholesome lad, Nick. I know he's got a cool sword, but his sword is in a metallic guitar. So uh, I take Keyblade over the guitar. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Link versus Kratos. Link, not even close, my boy. Not even close. I'm going to save the time. Yeah, let's go with Link. <laughs> Ratchet versus Ellie. No, 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 I don't just start writing. I would go Ellie. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Clive versus Arthur Morgan. Uh, Arthur. Clive. Hero. Arthur. If, we're, if we're bouncing, Joel, Joel is a better character than Chief, in my opinion. He's a better character. He's more well written, more well thought out. But we're, if we're doing heroes, the, the, Clive is a better hero. But and it's not close. It's, Arthur, if yeah. Put it to a pull, you're going to lose. But if, For hero? Okay, sure. We can do Clive versus uh, is Arthur Morgan. Arthur's a great hero. He literally sets up the second game. I, I understand, but... Or the first game, you're right. Yeah. Clive's a better hero. Hero, everyone. Put a one in, our, in the air to recognize our tribal chief, Ben Star. Come on, chat. 50-50. Be cool, chat. Clyde Ross. Oh, here's the thing, though. Maybe it should Maybe be best, be best protagonist. protagonist. We, we thought about doing that, we, but we couldn't get to 64 easily. There's not a world that Arthur is a better hero than Clive Rossfield. Yes, there is. Clive Rossfield it's this world is, that we're living it, in no, currently. No, oh my God, dude. It, think about the ending of FF16. You're insane if you think that Arthur Morgan is a better don't let this hero than you. Clive. Guys, don't let this you kid convince insane. you. You are insane. Vote with your heart. No, it, yeah. The, he, the better hero. Bang! Bang! Clive Rossfield moves on to the Elite Eight. My ear just got blown out by that. <laughs> Sonic versus uh, versus Lara. I'll do Sonic. It's Sonic. Yeah, it's Sonic. What a what a jo- we could have had Ty here, Connor. You you joker. Samus. Uh, Mega Man versus Samus. 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 And then Master Chief. It's the Master Chief universe, Connor. We're, That's we're gonna be confusing MCU. for people. Watching. Oh yeah, we have like an actual thing that we do. This is the company that we actually have to go and break things out yeah. and uh, post. Hey, we're taking all of the MCU in this <laughs> video game bracket. Sora versus Snake in the Elite Eight. Sora versus Snake. Oh my. God. God. Well, I want to hear where your head's at. It's Sora. I love Snake. Snake's awesome in all of his iterations. But like Sora like remains the, the focal point of this story over fucking 10 games and delivers the goods at every turn. But Never Snake, wavers. He's a hero. He's the definition Snake's of a hero. Snake's a hero too. Snake doesn't really waver at all. Like there's not really... Snake's just a fucking hero. He just has a cool voice. Snake. I'm just kidding. Connor, like, no, no joke. I, I generally think, uh, think of every single major boss fight in Metal Gear Solid 1. The dude is heroic. He's doing the damn thing. No, I, I'm not denying that he's, he's heroic, but I, we're, I, talking, I, I, we're I, talking about two heavy hitters here. I think Sora goes. Yeah, it's... Sora, no doubt, says the chat. By the way, it, there's two people that say Sora that I do see right now. Do you want right to vote now. for it, or do you want to? Do you I, I, I need it? to. I need to think. I need to uh, find Moose Sora. Yeah, uh, I'll give you one. Right. I'll give you one. Oh my gosh, Snake Sora is a hero. I understand. I don't understand somebody saying Snake is not like 
Just a pure hero. Link versus Ellie. If we're talking hero. This this sucks. Yeah. Ellie is a much better character by a country mile, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I also think that she's a hero. Through and through. I don't. I, I you think feel like she's a hero at the end of The Last of Us Part 2? By the decision she makes at the very end of that game, yes. I do think she's still a hero. I disagree. I think it's very the, gray. The, I understand the grayness of it, but I don't think that there's an objective. If she went through with things, she would not be. In comparison to Link, is is she a hero? To, no, it's well, yeah, that's like saying in comparison to Snow. Well, we're talking about heroes. I, I I understand, but Ellie's a much better character. We're living in that gray area. I, I'm going to go with Ellie. Okay, we can go to put it to a yeah. poll. You're going to lose, but can we get a poll, please? I'm going to stay sitting down for the rest of this. Yeah, dude. Standing up is takes a lot of work. My Link hands. saved the world. I understand, but Ellie's a much better character. She's a better character, man. Justice for Ratchet. Honestly, that's the other thing. I would put Ratchet over Link. It, it, it is hard. Link has an uphill battle, in my opinion, by being a silent protagonist. Yeah, 100%. Like, I'm not just dunking on Link. I like Link as... Does it go right this way? No, I believe everything, it's, it should be Lefty Lucy. Okay. Because all production things are really fucking weird for some reason. You mean Lefty Tidy? Yeah. Can I get this to go? It might not be. You play Twilight, you know he has depth. I think the side characters in that game have way more depth. Justice for Ratchet. I, I, I'm i sorry. No, Ratchet is not i mean i like ratchet i think he's yeah, never been a, like ratchet is a better the, the hero reason than that you like ratchet and clank in my opinion is the gameplay it's not the not I, I love ratchet though ratchet ratchet is, really becomes very interesting in rift apart i, I know but like. he also becomes, and i played he, like just about every ratchet and clank game link with 90 percent of the vote 90 <laughs> percent. holy shit the argument against link is not bad but still hard to vote against him i understand and i understand that there's attachment to link but he's not that goaded. All right, Cloud Rossfield moves on. Yeah, I agree. And then and Master Chief. Chief, yeah. Dude, we're gonna get uh called out for That's uh, fine. Uh our our Square Enix bias. Um Sora versus Link. Sora. Link. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't think that's close. You want to put it to a point? Yeah. I mean, we're going to lose. I'm I, I'm fine with You're going to lose. I'm okay with lo- I this, can't. This, if, I we're can't doing, if, if we're doing heroes, it's Link versus Master Chief. That's the finale. No, I think. Th- no, these guys are both way more heroic. Guys, I mean, you're going to lose the poll. I understand, but the, I can't. I can't. I'm putting not my put foot down on this. I'm not letting you convince me into a situation where we have Final Fantasy win the best franchise draft again when it should have been Zelda. I, I What I'm saying is... It should have been Zelda. It needs to be Link and Master Chief here. That's the finale. Th- so I'm is a you. better video game hero than Link. I think you know that's true, too. No, I, it's not. Nick, Link, Link has done so much more than Sora over so many games. I think he's done as much, and Sora has and personality. Has, he's an has, actual character. He, he has as much. He has almost the same amount of personality as Sora without saying okay, a single then word. If it's just straight up hero, which we've not been doing, no, it's not what I'm saying. I'm saying he still has a ton of personality, even with he, not he, saying a he word. has he has personality. I wouldn't say a ton of personality. Do we have a pull up? Uh, can we get a pull up, please? For Link versus Sora. I I do we need to do it ourselves? Like Sora is saving the world from multiple major world-ending threats. All like Sora is, in my opinion, if, if genuinely, I, I I don't think it's close. I think that Link. And I've been against Link for a lot of this bracket. Kratos versus Link. Link is a better hero, but Kratos is a better character. Link, Link is fine to move on there. Link versus Ellie. Ellie's a better character, but Link's a better hero. Fine to move on here. I don't think that Link is a legitimately better hero than Sora. If we're just saying hero straight up, and then I sure as fuck don't think he's a better character than Sora. I think it's close across the board. I think it's a conversation. And I and I think Link takes it, personally. I think Snake is uh I I think Snake is a way more interesting character, and I think that Snake is a way better hero than Link also. 
So that that's the other thing. I I, I think that this matchup, both of them beat Link when it comes to being a hero. I, everyone else that I've gone against, I think that they're better characters. I think that this isn't great, though. Link with 86% of the vote. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to... Sora is a yapper. Yeah, but the yap is, is good yap. yapping. Not always. <laughs> he becomes dumber throughout... You're uh, stupid. Every, every, he's, he's at his peak intelligence in Kingdom Hearts 2 somehow. And then just becomes dumber and dumber. <laughs> I'm going to throw to a poll. I know I'm going to lose. It's I can chief. live with it. Clive is a better hero. No, he's not. Nick, Master Chief is, if you want to go with the ultimate badass, Chief is way more badass than Clive. One, I've lost many arguments by saying ultimate badass, so yeah. that's not a point for me. Well, but I'm just trying to use my, your argument know, against you. But my thing is, what Cl if I, I wanted to put it to a poll, it, because I think that anybody that's played Final Fantasy 16 thinks that Clive is a better hero than Master Chief. I, I, I actually just No, they don't. That. I've played Final Fantasy 16 and... And the, Halo and Master the sacrifice, Chief. the world, all of it comes down to Clive being a hero. Connor, he is he is the shield. He is the hero. He is doing every single thing that a hero does. Master Chief, badass, and it's close. I'm not saying it's not close, but Clive Rossfield is. <laughs> and I got a vote. I got a vote. Smoked right now. I got a vote. <laughs> all right, move Chief on. No, I got two votes, Connor. <laughs> we got to go and tell someone if we get it to uh, 12 votes. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, my God. Four man, the, the bracket is whatever we want the bracket to be. It's our bracket at the end of the day. Master Chief. Chief. <laughs> Link versus Master Chief. It's it's so this you you got everything you wanted early in the draft and now finally I'm getting something I want and you're upset about it. <laughs> Connor, I moved Sora on because you wanted that. I moved no. Uh, I moved where where was another example? Link on. I didn't even put that to a poll. Yeah. I, I I'm pretty sure I have not like taken a dub. You took every dub on in the in the early rounds. Is what I'm saying. Round one doesn't matter. Right, okay. Does matter. If, if, who do you who do you, who are you thinking here? Link versus Master Chief. I think Chief is a more interesting character. I think Chief, even though he does not have depth, I don't think that. You want to know who has depth? Clyde Rossfield. Master Sora. Chief does have depth. Play four? No. But, but play I watched five, you play, you play all four. Infinite? He has plenty of depth in the three, uh, four, three I know games. that he's. He, the, uh, four, he has good depth, and then six. Uh, what are you doing? Depth. I'm finishing the fight. Dude, I, I understand. He, like, there's, there's heroic moments with Chief. It's it's just frustrating. Are we putting this to a vote? Are you guys voting? No, no, no. I don't. I are are they voting just in general? Uh, can, can you close that vote just so we can figure out on our own what we want to do? I, I mean, I it's chief in my opinion. Oh, then yeah, fuck yeah, yeah Master yeah. Chief. Master Chief is the best video game hero. Oh, that's so much better than Link in my opinion. I I I don't think that Link is the best video game hero. I I think there's ten better video game heroes than Link. Uh, real real quick. Let's play this game. Who's a better video game hero than Link? You you go. Choose people. Drake. D Nathan Drake is a better video game hero I, than I Link. I thought you were asking me to throw them out and you tell me if they're oh, better. Oh, uh, who's better than Link? Is Nathan Drake this a better is the hero? Correct, this is the correct final two in my so, opinion. Uh, you, th so you're saying Chief and then Link is your number two? Yeah. Okay. For this bracket? Yeah, I'm fine For what that. the parameter is? It, uh, what okay. I think, what, for well, me, I'm I, like stripping out some bias here and trying to like have some sort of objectivity and oh, trying to like yeah. factor in all the factors. I, there's obvious bias. We have Sora and Clive in the final four, but um, with, with that in mind, like link and cheap are the correct answer. When it comes to straight up hero hero, I would take Sora over, over uh, link. I would take snake over link. I would take Clive over link Sonic. That's it. <laughs> Those three. I would, which which I think is a so I, I, Link is number six for me. Then it's interesting if Arthur Morgan goes against Chief, I think I take Arthur Morgan over Chief as a hero. Yeah, damn. Arthur Morgan's like one of the greatest characters in video games. Period. That's the other thing. I, I if 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 Arthur Morgan beats Clive Rossfield, then he wins the whole thing. I I actually don't even hate this. Cloud's potentially a better hero, and Vivi's a better hero. Vivi might be a better hero, in my opinion. I love Vivi. I like if we were sticking with just straight up hero, it should be Cloud over right. Ellie there, and then it should be Cloud over Ratchet. Yeah. All right. I mean, I think this is rock solid. Yeah.
I think this is a good fucking bracket. Yeah. I, 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 I feel I, like nobody's going to be mad. The, everybody's the, going to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest issue with doing this bracket was halfway through, we did basically switch the parameters. No, we didn't. The, we, we went from character to hero more throughout the we, bracket. It was a discussion the entire time yeah. on character and hero, who's more of a hero, who's be, who's a better character. Like, if, if we were going purely off of character, like, Vivi is, like, my favorite character on here. I mean, Arthur Morgan Garrus would go way further. is, like, one of my favorite characters on here. Yeah. Big B is one of my favorite characters on here. Lee Everett. Like, but you have to factor in, like, hero and, like, Gaming. all the factors here. Like, Sam is going really far. I don't even like Sonic, but, like, Sonic... Is a hero. Is, an, is a good character, like I, and is well beloved. That that whole that whole division there sucks. is is sucks like eggs. it really it really allowed Sonic to like, like Jin could have gone further than Sonic. Uh, Snake definitely w- would have been there. Shepard. I would take Isaac Clark over Sonic. Same. Leon would definitely be over Sonic. Yeah. Uh, Vivi, Kratos, Ratchet, Pikachu. Nico, Cloud, Ellie, Pikachu. <laughs> Sonic Peter, makes the Peter Elite Parker. Eight. Peter Parker. Peter <laughs> Parker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fox, Sonic makes dude. the Elite Eight on a technicality. Jo- right. Joker from Persona. Who's the better hero, Sonic or Joker? Could be Joker in a seven Sonic. game series. Sonic. All right, I'm going to move this. Yeah, we can get this out of the way. I'm going to talk to chat real quick. Uh, thank you all for enjoying the video game bracket. Uh, what an amazing time to be alive this was. Uh, Connor's moving the whiteboard out for our audio listeners. We're going to throw the games up in the background just to have some sort of background uh, going for the rest of this pod. Don't go anywhere if you're watching live. We will be doing our video game hot take. And I got a great hot take today, everyone. I think that my hot take will make certain people in our chat very upset. Um, which isn't the purpose when I choose a hot take. It's just me stating my opinion. On something that happens to be a hot take. Connor, we should find a way to stream this soon. All right. Sorry, sorry, yeah, let's let's throw that on the co op 64 thermometer for in January. Oh, uh, we got one more game. I'm sorry, Allie. Are you doing a cuphead review at some point, uh, Nick? I, I don't think that, like, we. That will be a, on a uh, what we've been playing episode, and I'll I'll throw out my official score and review and everything. If you if you want uh, if you want a general thought real quick, uh, I would give Cuphead as of right now a nine out of ten. This game is amazing. I think it's an amazing video game. Not nine point five. I thought about this a lot with like my scoring and stuff like that. I think Final Fantasy sixteen as a nine point five is like. My example of what nine point five is to me, and there's there's not a lot of nine point fives for me. Alec, have a good one. Can I get a coffee up here now? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I had to seven brothers as Gooperman. What does that mean for uh, Final Fantasy sixteen? Oh, okay. it's a seven out of ten. Damn. Oh, it, it, it's so difficult to be right all the time. You know what I'm saying, Connor? No, I got this this time around. I did get bullied through this bracket at at the end end game. Um, are the fellas here? I don't. Are they? Uh, I I just got. I thought that there was text. No. Nope. So. All right. I was texting mom. There you go. Oh, uh, shout out to mom sixty four who said good luck with the extra life. Yeah, I didn't know she thought it was today. Uh, I think she knows it's tomorrow. Okay. I think she just knows today we are slammed the entire day. Yep. All right. You, you want to do your hot take first or me? Yeah, I kind of want to do my hot take first. That's I want to also just uh, like make sure that the take is what the take needs to be. I have a really good hot take as well. Oh, I think. great. Please don't be the same one. <laughs> my video game hot take for this week is about video game genres and the fact that people believe in this artificial oversaturation in certain genres and that doesn't matter i feel like every single time we get a release trailer it's oh it's just another souls game oh it's just another roguelike it's like no these games have merit beyond just what their genre is if it's cool it's cool i'm done with this idea that we go through a state of play and there's two different uh souls likes in there and we just write them off because we're like oh it's not from software doing their thing it's like no like these games can do the damn thing. Liza P, shocked and delighted. We have things that are awesome roguelikes, I would say, 
beyond Hades, but everyone at this point is just like, I just want more Hades. I just want more of that. It's there also, it's only a finite amount of gaming genres. I feel like we're all the time being like, oh, there's too many shooters. It's just another hero shooter. Do you know how many hero shooters there are? Not that many, but we just go in default to Overwatch being that thing. And so we don't want to try the new thing because you are like the old thing. Be okay with what the game trailer is presenting you and what the team is showing off beyond that just putting it in a genre bucket and being signing it off just because we've had a couple of games recently that we like in this genre that this might not live up to that expectation guess what it also actually might live up to the expectation that's how we get new amazing classic games like when we're talking about astro somebody in our comments uh, yesterday was like oh it's just another platform i'm like When's the last time we got a banger platformer? What are we talking about here? I, I'm very, very passionate about this take. I hate when we're doing state of play reactions and it's we get the comments all the time. Oh, it's just another this game. The only time that's acceptable is when Nintendo is showing off the fifth farming sim within a direct within 20 minutes. That's the only time it's acceptable. Other than that, gaming genres are there's only a finite amount of them. We need to give the game the credit and not just write it off due to the genre. There isn't a finite amount of them, though. The way we get roguelikes and the way that we get souls likes is by making a souls game. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there needed to be a first one. And, yeah. and I just would say that it's better for developers to try to come up with a new idea than copy a format that somebody else has made. I know it's I know that that's not it's easier said than done but like that's what i am looking for i don't want everybody to be copying souls games because it's the new hot trend i want them to make something new i understand but you basically just said come up with a new genre more how so. did we get a new genre of souls like I, I, Soul, I, so there needed to be a souls like i first, and then we got that we, th that is going to happen once every three or four years from one team the, the, and we can't just write off every other game Beyond I'm that. not saying write it off. I'm just saying that I per, I would prefer if people try to try to push the medium forward than copy a a genre that is oversaturated now. I don't think it's oversaturated. Souls so, games though. are definitely oversaturated. I, I understand, but we got we, like three of them in the last like two weeks. Once again, they're like Flintlock. The, the, we got the the French one. The take is that we need to not <laughs> write one. off these games when they come by because it's another Souls like. If we did that, we would not have experienced Liza P. That's what I'm saying. And then there's also cool things that you can do with certain IP partnerships and everything that can push it forward. I get excited for cool video games. And if I see a Souls like that is cool, that gets me excited. I'm, I'm saying that, though, like with Souls like specifically, like I feel like we're not pushing it forward. Even Liza P, which is great, is bloodborne mixed with sekiro you know what i mean like it feels like we're still just in the space of how do we get as close to FromSoft as humanly possible and that's what people are looking but, for but that's when it when it when it deviates and doesn't hit as hard or like goes in like a little bit of a different direction most people don't like it i understand my whole thing goes back to there's going to be the goat of every single genre until there's a new goat right now i still think that the goat of action adventure games or naughty dog titles those are looked at as the best of the best so should we just pack it in and not do more action adventure games no but people are doing i think people are doing more interesting things in the action adventure genre than in the souls like genre which is really just very much chasing and trying to get as po as close as humanly possible to from i i think though that the quality of from software games is what people are trying to get close to within that genre in the same way that i think the quality of naughty dog is what somebody like uh sucker punch's team or uh house mark even is trying to get with their games of that amount of polish and that amount of style yeah. and we can't write those games off i like i'm not saying write them off i'm just saying yeah. i don't prefer i wish that developers went in a different direction i i load me up with more uh souls likes or, or attempts of souls likes if they're good attempts yeah. I, I think it once again it all comes back to the fact that the game needs to be good, but we are right. It happens all the time. Like, the, and this is a take that I've had on my notes for a while, and I've been wondering when to break it out. I literally told myself, break it out when you're doing an early morning podcast because you are passionate about it, so you can yap it up about it. I, we do reactions to every video game showcase, and all the time, if a Souls like appears, it gets immediately fucking ran off, and like. What? It does. It, like, and that's that sucks to me. Where I, I don't like that. I don't want I, I want the these teams we need to remember that like video games are something that we really fucking love. 
and these teams work really hard and sometimes the it's shitty hours and sometimes the working condition is not great and the, a lot of the time there's a lot of crunch that goes into this fucking job to make a cool product and the fact that they're like oh it's not from software fuck this i'm like dude it, 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 can we actually see if the game's cool like if it's not cool that's something else that's describing the game but we're writing it off purely by just being like man it's not gonna be the goat i'm like yeah okay we're talking about games that are like 10 out of 10 masterpieces what bloodborne you said is like a nine five like we're talking about some of the best fucking games out there yeah and they're not gonna reach that but why can't well, like i'm excited for star wars outlaws which is an open world checks boxing game another genre that people go and roast immediately yeah people are because sick they're sick of it but i'm like i don't care if it's open world checkboxiness i'm like is it good it, does it look cool? Is there an interesting hook behind but oftentimes, it? Oftentimes, no. I understand. Is the answer. But when you see a new Ubisoft game like uh, Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora, it's like, all right, it's gonna. This is gonna be whatever it feels like. But I, that's watching the what they're delivering. Star Wars Outlaws to me, I'm like, yeah, it's check boxy, but like, it seems like there's a good world around it and a good adventure to be had. That's what's interesting. I, but most people will write it off just because oh, it's open world check boxing next. Like, do people just Excuse me. Skip out on Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey just because they're like, oh, it's just another fucking Assassin's Creed yeah. checkboxiness. That game's awesome. But people skipped out on on Valhalla because it was more of the same. I I, that's, I think that's fair. That well, I understand. You can be sick of something. You that, can, it's it, all right to feel uh, inundated. With I something. I understand being sick of something, but you wouldn't be sick of it if it was a great game. It, like my big thing is if Valhalla was a two step forward thing of open world checkboxiness. It wasn't though. It was the I, same. I, I understand, it was, it was a, and that's yeah. what, but it, the, I'm saying genre versus what the game is delivering. The game didn't deliver, so sure, it's okay to be sick of something not delivering. But we're talking about there's games, there are souls like experiences that are going to deliver, and they will still How be often, written though? off. I it doesn't and matter. It's not often because but like, we're going to write the them fallen, all off. That's fucking I'm not saying dumb. Write, I'm not saying write them all off. I'm just saying they're in an uphill battle because we've been in a genre that has been now oversaturated. And when they do deliver and, and come out, they're oftentimes not very good. I understand. My thing is there's so many games that come out and are not good, but we don't judge those games immediately because of the genre they're in where we should just take all games as what it is. Look at the fucking trailer, watch it, and whether it is amazing, call it amazing, and whether it is not amazing, don't call it amazing. I mean, I thought that one game from the state of play looked cool. Yeah, but well, then we it both ended did. up being a free to play. Yeah, but but like Garbage. my my other thing is I, I'm somebody that fucking like we haven't had a great mascot platform, and that's why I love Astro so much. And I, you want to celebrate going and doing cool things within genres that are not oversaturated, but. If it was immensely oversaturated and we just got like a new 3D Mario and if for some reason uh, they came out with a more open world 3D uh, mascot, pl uh, they came out with another banjo that was 3D on the Xbox side of things and then we got Astro Bot, I wouldn't be like, oh, it's fucking oversaturated. I'm like, no, fuck, it, fuck yeah, Astro looks dope. Let's play that game. And that's what I'm trying to say is it's about the game. It's not about the genre. Don't write off games based off a of genre. That's how we get fucking treats and surprises is by going and playing those games. And if it's cool, it's cool. Don't write off a cool game because of the genre. Alrighty. Moving on to my hot take. My gaming hot take for this week. No, I just flubbed that. My gaming hot take for this week is that we need to bring back tacked on multiplayer modes in single player games. This is why. Some of my favorite games of all time are shorter single player experiences that have tacked on multiplayer. People are constantly making value judgments on how much value you're getting out of a game. And they're talking about game length, but you can get away with a shorter game length experience for a single player game if you have that multiplayer suite for people to come back to. Uncharted, The Last of Us. The Last of Us is a 12 hour experience, but then you have factions mode, the multiplayer mode that I spent 300 hours in. And it's like, okay, that is clearly worth it in my mind. So we can hopefully get away from the free to play nonsense garbage when people are like when, when they're nickel and diming us with microtransactions and get back to a multiplayer suite that is finite that is going to come and go and maybe have a few little updates here and there 
to keep people interested, but there's an expiration date on it that it's going to end eventually. It's not a forever game that you're going to play forever like Fortnite, but it's something that you're going to add that's going to add value to the experience. So bring back tacked on multiplayer. Some of my favorite multiplayer experiences were from uncharted and the last of us like i miss it even like stuff like bioshock 2 and assassin's creed had tacked on multiplayers and that adds value all it does is add value even if even if you don't end up loving it it makes the the game more valuable and that's what people are constantly talking 70 dollars games for this amount of time if if spider-man had some sort of multiplayer aspect to it it might the conversation might have been a little bit different i don't know what you would do with spider-man for multiplayer but it, it would change the conversation a little bit and allow us to get better single player experiences that's what i need to come back to here is that i'm so sick of hearing people talk about games being too short or too bloated just give us the game that you, the vision that you're looking for, and then add on multiplayer to get those people to stop talking about value. There uh, we go. Give Astrobot a weapon. That's what Connor's saying. Give Astrobot a weapon. That could be cool. Oh no, I I love the take. I do go back though to my gaming question of the year. Why? Why do they not do this? Why do devs not do it? And I think they're at the point that the juice isn't worth the squeeze or they'd rather separate them out. And it sucks. They'd rather go for Fortnite. I they understand. want to try to make the next Fortnite. That's what we were going to get with The Last of Us I know. online. And it's like, dude, just put out a multiplayer game that is going to be really fun for six months. And then a bunch of people are going to drop off of it. But then the rest of us who really like it are going to continuously play this. Just because the would game it, is good. Would it, be, it doesn't need to be this like constant seasons and battle passes and skins. Like, Can't we just have a fun multiplayer game? Would you be okay? Well, pay, you got to pay for it is what I'm saying. There's, yeah, there's price that 100%. comes along well, with Well, that's it. the thing is it, it, I'm more than willing to pay for it if it's if it's a part of a single player package. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, that, that makes perfect sense to me. If Concord had a single player package aspect to it i think the conversation might be a little bit different about yeah. it if it had a campaign and then had the multiplayer same with overwatch 2 right now is like they promise the pve mode and like a story mode and then strip that out and everybody's pissed and i think overwatch's 2 overwatch's 2's narrative is completely different if it has that single player mode in it so that's my take i agree once again give astrobot a weapon all right what does that mean <laughs> i uh, I mainly did that for TikTok. Uh, give him a gun. <laughs> give, give, I'm thinking like multiplayer Astro Bob where uh, everyone's shooting each other. All, all right. right. Co-op games. I think I go first on this one. I think it's been you for a while. <laughs> Going first. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go first on a lot of these. And Connor makes me. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I don't make you. I say, do you want to go first? And then you say, yeah. <laughs> it's normally the hour decisions Play the tape go. back. Yeah, Play the tape. Normally hour it's, it's, if only there wasn't ev- a pile of evidence against you. <laughs> only if we didn't have like 46 episodes of proof of me yeah. doing that exact thing many, many times. All right. Today, we are drafting co-op games. No competitive co-op. No, no multiplayer type co-op. Just couch co-op, playing along with a friend, the campaign, having a good time. Okay. I want to clarify that... We are allowed to throw challenge flags on drafts. Mm-hmm. And if you want to do that for any of my picks, you're welcome to. It needs a co-op campaign yes. of some kind. I, I agree. All right. With my first pick, I'm going to go with It Takes Two. Game of the Year winner, 2022. One of the best co-op games of all time. It's just an absolute joy to play. It Takes Two with my first pick. 2021. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know. You, you want to know why? Because the Elden actual Ring. GOAT was yeah. 2022 Elden Ring. With my first pick, I'm going to choose a game that I consider a masterpiece. The co-op mode in Portal 2 Yep, is going to be my first overall pick. And then there, you have a great forward like where you can go after this pick no matter what I take. So I'm going to choose an experience that I will never forget for the rest of my life i'm gonna choose a way out playing that game with brady this year was simply amazing uh that team just does it better and yes they did improve with it takes two i do think though that my biggest issue with it takes two is that game is way too long whereas with the way out it's concise it's extremely fun it tells a very impactful story i think it's a better story than it takes two Mm -hmm. but it's just not as fleshed out as it takes two so portal two and a way out with my first two picks haze light the He's masters right. of the co-op experience at this point. Connor's choosing brothers right now. 
with my second pick, we're going to go with Halo. Nick and I talked about this. You just get Halo, the Halo campaign. Oh, I I texted you that. I, I understand. I, I misread that text message. I thought you said if you pick one of the games, you, you just can't take any others after that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you want to pick one? I I am Halo 3. Okay. Uh, or I really don't think that there's really an objective choice here. You could say 2 or Reach or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I have Reach on my board. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to go with Halo um, with my second pick. Just absolutely so much fun mowing down elites and grunts and throwing nades and, and we're playing on Legendary and one of you goes down and you're like, get me back in, get me back in, go hide so we can spawn me back in. It's a lot of fun. So, yeah. We're going to go with Halo with my second pick. With my third pick, we're going to go with Minecraft. Just a super fun, relaxing experience. Make it what you want it to be. Minecraft is an absolute classic. Has stood the test of time. Minecraft with my third pick. With my third pick, I'm going to choose Baldur's Gate 3. Oh. What a phenomenal adventure. Getting to play D&D &D with your friends through a video game in a very streamlined process. At the time of this recording, we will have already done D&D, &D, and I assume we will have a great time, but also we will have many questions for our DM, Shane, being like, hey, how do we do this? How do we do that? Baldur's Gate 3 takes away those questions. They just let you play how you want to play, do these uh, encounters how you want to take them. You, it, you can do whatever you want. Uh, Charge, a creator that we love, said it very, very well when he's talking about Baldur's Gate 3. How the fuck does this game even exist with all the options you're able to do? I didn't have that on my board. I just completely lapsed on that. So, by the way, Minecraft was when I was like, "It's co-op because there it's is, like, yeah, yeah." That's is. that's what I think of when I think of Minecraft. Um, it's like saying like it's a survival game. Like, don't starve and uh, and Stardew are co-op games. Yep, technically. So I have some picks that are just so me, and I will get to those in the honorable mentions that you can check out on the full podcast. But with this pick. I'm going to choose something that's a little bit of me, but it's an experience that so many people had. And I'm going to choose Lego Star Wars. Interesting. Lego that Star is Wars fun. is such an amazing co-op experience. Fun per minute off the charts. You are dying due to janky PS2 controls if you're playing an older one. You're going through these epic stories. The Lego humor actually is still really funny, even if you're not a kiddo. You're having a great time with it. Lego Star Wars is an amazing co-op experience. That's going to be my fourth pick. I have two more picks, right? Yep. Are you? Then I have one. Okay, gotcha. With my fourth pick, I'm going to go with Borderlands 2. I, I consider picking this first overall. Yep. I'm not going to lie. It's This is like the classic co-op shooter experience. Borderlands 2, super funny, super fun. Goes toe-to-toe, -to -toe, in my opinion, with Halo's co-op campaigns. Super fun. Borderlands 2 with my fourth pick. A lot of directions to go here. With my fifth pick, I'm going to go with a newer game. We're going to go with Helldivers 2. Just like took over the gaming space earlier this year, came out of nowhere and captured the time of all gamers, just sinking hundreds of hours into this super fun shooting bugs, shooting automatons. Helldivers 2 with my fifth pick. Love the pick. I... I'm going to choose my last game for the pure experience that you have while playing this game. I understand not a lot of people will play this game. This is not the most popular pick. I have things on my board that are more popular. But if you've played this game, you know for certain it is one of the best co-op games ever. Shout out to my boy, Matt Lucid. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Oh. So much Fun. The amount of fear you have as the countdown is dropping towards zero and you are getting screamed at instructions. It is pure chaos and pure co-op magic. It is legitimately one of the best co-op really games good. ever. I haven't thought about that game in so long. You just pulled that out of my, <laughs> out of it's my duffy, dude. <laughs> it, it, like, for the people that like are going to be voting on our list, I think that that, for me, is a make-or-break game. That If you played that game, you're like, yep, N Nick won the draft. Like I... I think that that I game is I don't think so. Goaded. I don't think that sways the whole it, dude, draft. Let's but go through really our teams good. real quick. Because uh, I, I think that we both had a great draft. Yeah. Good, uh, good, that, good. Is, that is the draft. But now going into honorable mentions here, I had Resident Evil 5. Okay. I had Rock Band. Uh, uh, like uh, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. But my main thing is Rock Band, when you go through the campaign of like doing the set list and yeah, everything, yeah. 
it's pretty fucking unbeatable yeah, when you're really doing fun. that with friends. Cuphead is up there, but yep. I think that experience is better. The better solo. Player. It's yep. way too hard. Uh, Snipper Clips was on oh, my board. I love that game. That game's a lot of fun. Um, Monster Hunter, any of them? Uh, Stardew Valley. Uh, I didn't have that on my board. I didn't even men- think of it until you uh, we talked about Minecraft yeah. further. Um, I also had Diablo 4 on my board. Oh, nice. uh, that, that was one that I thought about picking for boats. Overcooked 2? Yep. Castle Crashers. Castle my- Crashers is like the classic. Oh, we could have done like a beat em up. Shredder's Revenge. Dude, Shredder's Revenge is a great time. Or, or I don't I wouldn't take it over any of my picks. Oh my god. River what, City what, Girls or uh uh what's the other one? Uh, Scott, Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim, yeah. dude. That by the way, I currently have what we're doing for the co-opathon next year, like already set and scheduled. Oh, you do? It's really good. Oh, geez. yeah. I, Nick Nick just does a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm a planner for sure. All right. You got anything else to say? Uh, last to last thing I do want to say, and this is a weird thing of we're shooting it the day before Extra Life, but this goes up Monday. Seriously, we don't even know what the sport is going to look like. If we raised a dollar for this cause, it is worth it. So thank you so much for your generosity on Extra Life. Thank you for showing up and hanging out. But we assume there'll be at least one person hanging out with us during this 24 right. hours. So shout out to you uh, for hanging out and making a really cool stream and experience happen. Extra it was life, really amazing. Actually, it was a ton of fun. Can't <laughs> believe Shane learned how to do a backflip on stream. Oh, my God. He, did, he just threw it out there. He's like, I'm going to do a backflip right now. I've never done one. And then nailed it. That was wild. It's six, eight in my nine foot ceiling. Uh, it, his feet touched the ceiling <laughs> yeah. and he flipped. Yeah, it was sick. He uh, actually ran backwards off the ceiling to help with yeah. the flip. It was sick, dude. Insanity. We survived a tornado. Oh, um, yeah. Um, uh, what else happened during Extra Life that we can predict? Uh <laughs> I, I, my things go to more inappropriate things. I, got, I was, I I was got, thinking Braden butt chugged a beer. Oh, <laughs> like my, just, oh my God. Uh, I got two aces while playing Valorant. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, my shot. So, Snowbike Mike was uh, yapping it up about uh, making a crazy purchase. That's actually a decent prediction. That yeah, probably yeah. could happen. Uh, dude, Parkin Harbor was the goat at Among Us. I'm calling that now. Yeah. 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 All right, well, there you go. There's your predictions for Extra Life. Uh, you let us know on Monday when you're watching this if any of that came true because Extra Life is on Saturday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, join the Discord, buy merch if, if you have and you want to support the channel. Uh, we stream Monday through Thursday, 7 to 10 Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks for hanging with us. Peace out.